Hello everyone, it's Chevy here again and today I'm going to show you my top 10 travel essentials. So these are not, I'm gonna say your everyday average ones that people take and your, I would say, expected things like clothing, underwear, um, shoes, things like that. Not those, it's like the extra little things that actually make your trip so much easier and better and enjoyable. So, thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up um, by hitting the like button and give me a subscribe as well. Thank you and let's go. Okay. So first off is number one is an eye mask. So these are always handy whether you're traveling like on a plane, on a bus, on a train. You can just pop this on, blocks out the sun, you can have a quick nap. Um, particularly useful if you are staying in hostels as well, which I have done a lot of that and these are lifesavers. Because people come in, someone will always turn on the light at like, you know, two in the morning or something like that, perfect. Um, also as a quick aside, maybe add some earplugs in there too. Um, I do usually take mine, but I'm also a very heavy sleeper, so it's up to you. Um, this one I just got, uh, this one my parents got from a uh, long distance, oh, I think it was British Airways flight, don't know. It's just easy to use, you can throw it in the wash. Okay, number two. I always take my sleeping bag my sleeping bag liner. So this is a silk one, so it folds down quite small. So it just fits in here. This is perfect more for more for backpackers, which I'm more of a backpacker. Um, and it just is perfect. You can have it on the bed, so you can sleep in this instead of the sheets. Um, you know where this has been. You don't know if those sheets are fully clean or if someone slept on that bed before you. You just don't really know. So it's always good to have it. This one I've had for, oh, since I first started traveling, I think I was 19. So I've had this for sort of 10-ish years now and it's perfect. It's just one from like the local Kathmandu store in Australia. Easy, yeah. Definitely always get silk as well because it um, folds down smaller than the cotton ones and I find it also doesn't get smelly as much. All right, number three, this one's pretty easy. Just my drink bottle. This is just a regular, I think it's about 500 ml drink bottle. You can fill it with, I wanna say water over you go. It's refillable and which makes it so much, like makes it very easy. Um, usually as well, like if you're going through airport security, you can just drink it or empty it beforehand in the toilet and then just go through security and it's empty, so it's fine and well, it saves the environment because of the plastic that you're not using. Um, also, why buy water when you can just get it for free um, by using like the tap? There's usually, most airports will have taps, most places will have taps, and usually if it's not drinkable, there will be a sign saying like, don't drink this. In saying that, obviously some countries, um, first one pops into my head is like South America, always double check the water there because you probably can't drink it out of the tap. You might need to disinfect the water first with the purifica water purification tabs like aqua tabs. Next one is my journal. So this is not like a travel journal, it's just a small notebook. Um, this one does have numbered pages on it. I don't know if you can see that there. It's not gonna focus. Anyway, so these are numbered and it's just good to have. Um, you can write down names, addresses, you can write down the place if you need to go, you can write down um, quick translations um, if you need to. I have, I usually take a small um, like pencil with me as well just so I can draw quick pictures if I want to. Uh, I also put, I don't know, just fun notes about everything. Here through Europe, I usually as well just like have random things in here um, like as I say I've got one here it's like a I don't know what it is I think it's rosemary I don't know and all I've written is St. Clement's Island Hof, off Hava which is off Croatia I don't know what it is just in there but it's always fun to have something like that also don't forget your pencil or your pen to go with it number five this one people may already pack 
but it is a head torch or some kind of torch. I know phones have torches now on them, how, um, and I do use that sometimes, but this is always good just to have as a backup in case you don't wanna get your phone out or you're just worried, or the fact that it's a head torch means you can just whip it on. You can just put it on wherever you are and wherever you need it. It's so easy, especially if you're camping or out somewhere, like even in a hostel room, if you are one of those people who don't turn the lights, thank you very much. Um, you can just pop this on. This one has a red setting, so it's just a red light, which isn't as disturbing. And you can like pack up your things or like unpack your things, depending on what you're doing. This one's super easy. This one is a black diamond head torch. I don't really know much more than that. I do know, I. I ended up getting this one through my friend's dad who was a pilot and managed to get one for me through America, which was cheaper, so thank you very much. So yeah, head torch, number five. Number six, in relation to being in hostels and things, I have a padlock. This one has got like a flexi cable. Okay, I'm sure someone could cut through that quite easily, but it stops most people from just like rifling through your stuff. You can lock it bags, you can lock um, like lockers if you need to. And it's got a combination on it so you're never going to lose the key. On the back, I do have my name and address, or my parents' address on there, so that if it ever gets lost or something happens, it can always be contacted through there. In relation to the lock as well, it's always good. You can always attach things onto your bag with it as well because it's just got like the loop, it's just like a carabiner, easy. All right, number six. Number seven. This one is my foldable fork spoon, uh, the spork. So this one, it just folds down. It's just a plastic one I got from Decathlon, I think here in France when I was camping. And it folds out, clips in, and then you've got like a proper spoon or and or fork on the end. It's easy. This is perfect for if you're, I wanna say like, even just getting takeaway, you can use your spork. Uh, yeah, use your spork to eat it. If you're out or and you don't want to take a plastic one to try and save the environment, use this. You never know if you're making your own lunch. Like this is always useful if you need to like, I don't know, eat some watermelon or like I don't know, eat an olive or something like that. Always have this with me. It lives in my backpack permanently, whether I'm traveling or not. Next one, sort of related to that, I have a metal straw. This is just a really short one. Um, I don't take the cleaner with me just because I know it's either just gonna have dust in it or if I've just drunk, and drunk something out of it, I will usually rinse it with water if I can. It's just quite short, just easy. Take it with you, it saves on straws. It's good as well, like if you're sharing or you're not really sure about touching the glass or anything like that, it also stops people from giving you straws, which saves the environment and saves the turtles. So I always take my straw with me. It's also in my backpack. Next one, this is just for the ladies, but it's just a hair clip. Well, I suppose men can take it too. Um, so it's just, it's a hair clip. You can easily just clip your hair back if you need. The benefit of this is also if you're like on a bus or something and you need to keep like the curtain shut, or even potentially if you're in a hostel and you need to keep your curtain shut. You can just clip it shut with this, easy. But I always take this with me. You never know when you're going to need a hair clip. Now, my lucky number 10 is, da, 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 uh, my scarf. So, I always take this scarf or a, another scarf with me. Multiple uses for a scarf. First one is it can keep you warm when you're cold. It can be like a shawl if you need it, if you just want something to go out but you don't really want to take a jacket or something like that. Um, it can work as a towel in a pinch because it's absorbent and it's big. This one is quite like long, like I don't know if you can quite see, but it's like really wide, so it's like perfect. Um, it can also be a blanket. If you're somewhere traveling and you're like on a bus and it's cold or even in a hostel, you can just put this on and it will act as a blanket for you. This is probably actually the best one I would recommend. Best thing to have out of everything would be this. Like take a scarf with you everywhere because it will always be useful. If it's cold, you need it. If you're wet, you can use it as a towel. Um, there's so many uses for it. So there you go. Those are my 10 
favorite um, traveling essentials that I take with me everywhere. Um, I do have one bonus one for you, and this would be a Swiss Army knife. Uh, with a Swiss Army knife, obviously if you're just taking carry-on, you can't take it with you because it does have blades in it. But I, if you're just traveling, I say slowly or have check-in luggage, you can just put it in there. And uh, this one I've had, it's like the, I don't know what the model is called, but it's like the super duper model. Um, I got this when I left my work um, and they got it engraved for me with my name on it on one side and then the workplace on the other which was really cute actually I really like it um, so this one's got two knives in it it's got scissors it's got a magnifying glass it's got a, got a can opener a bottle opener a regular can opener I've got a screwdriver in it um, I've got yeah two knives it's got oh my god it's got like so many things on it the main thing is it's very good for the knife if you're having a picnic or something and you just need a knife, I don't know, you just never know when you'll need a Swiss Army knife, plus all the attachments to it. So that is my bonus number 11. Um, so thank you very much for watching my top 10 slash bonus one to make 11. Uh, travel essentials that I take with me everywhere. If you have any others that you think I should have added in this list, please drop it in a comment below and I will check it out. And otherwise, thank you very much and I will see you again next time. Bye!